I'm not seeing things, am I? There was someone in the fountain, but this time it was not the silver hair that took my attention. Long. Since when did she start wearing her hair long? Black hair was floating on the surface of the water. Ayana! I dashed forward. I wasn't seeing things. That was really her. But she looked dead. N no, no way. I must crash into Sumika, who seemed to have just climbed up the stairs, her confused eyes fixed on me. I saw her! <gasps> In the fountain. <laughs> I ignored her and rushed toward the exit. I had to see her from up close. Maybe she was just unconscious. Maybe she was still okay. Maybe. I stopped in place. The doors wouldn't open. Why? The main doors leading outside wouldn't open, but it didn't seem like they were locked. If so, I just had to push them open. That's all I had to do, yet the doors just let out a rumbling sound and refused to open. Why? What am I- what, what? Okay, that was weird. Simika caught up to me completely out of breath. I can't open the damn doors! What? What the hell? We should break a window. Nice reference. Like I care about that now. I saw Ayana lying in the damn pool. That's why I've got to confirm if it's really her. If we don't find a way out, we're going to be stuck here for who knows how long. How the hell am I supposed to calm down after seeing that? Yeah, it's an emergency. I don't care, just use anything heavy enough to break it. No, it's alright, I'll go look for one. You just wait here. I'm the one who came with the idea, and fire extinguishers are pretty heavy, you know. What? Are you implying I'm seeing things? I know what I saw. Well, okay, now that I've cooled down a little, maybe she has a point. Alright. Yeah. Hmm? Who was that? An unfamiliar voice reached us as we were about to start moving. A clear but thoroughly cold voice. I turned in its direction. Ah. Right next to me? On th at the other edge of the door? Stood a silver-haired girl. Her hand pressing against the metal frame, eyes fixed on the scenery outside. She shifted her gaze to me. Red eyes, just like I saw that day. I don't know. I'm not sure I can say I know her. Ah, it took his carefree voice struck us out of nowhere, as though to shatter this weird tense mood. Itsuki. Oh, thank God. Hmm? Huh? Got it. I'll go check on her. Oh my God, man, I had a heart attack for a moment. Yeah. 
I glanced at the mysterious girl. Her red eyes were once again fixed on the scenery outside. Hmm? Tsuka gave me a confused look. Uh, I, uh, I don't know. It was the girl I saw in the inner yard that day. Ayana floating in the fountain might have been just my mind playing tricks on me or something. But that girl wasn't. I could swear that. Hey! Her gaze once again shifted to me. You were in the inner yard yesterday, right? I'm sorry. With that, she turned on a heel and started down the corridor. Wait! Do you know anything about who assaulted us or what the hell's going on? Damn it. She started walking again. Ah. I tried going after her, but she disappeared after a turn. I was pretty sure I was right behind her. Reality sucks, okay? Simika was smirking behind my back. You know, as much as I'm enjoying this game, I kind of feel these characters are a little out of place. At least Sumika, anyway. Itsuki, you said Ayana was in the infirmary? Ah. Did you poke her with the stick to see if she actually was alive? How much did you say you got in the last test again? Damn right it is. <laughs> I'm glad you're honest. When did you check the infirmary anyway, Itsuki? Okay. I see. Yeah. Yeah, I checked the inner yard one more time just in case, but couldn't spot anyone there in the fountain or not. We found Ayana in the infirmary. What the hell did I see there in the inner yard? And what about whoever assaulted us? So far, it seemed like the only people in the building are us and that girl. Why would anyone want to lock us inside? And who could they possibly be? The underclassman wrote me that message? I highly doubt he'd have a motive to. Besides, I am the only person of our group he knows. Then, the completely unknown third party? Or was this really some sort of paranormal phenomenon related to the Seven Mysteries? Would one of us die and then our dead body turn up tomorrow? I had no idea what was going on anymore. This was insane. What were we supposed to do? Help. Oh, you're Aina was already awake and gave us a drowsy look when we entered the infirmary. Are you alright? She seemed pretty tired. Could you shut up for a moment? God. You don't remember how you lost consciousness. I tried starting from the beginning. I see, I wonder what happened. She disappeared just when we left the classroom back then. And then there was that matter of me seeing her in the inner yard. She looked totally dead floating in the fountain. Excuse me. I closed it into the confused Ayana and touched her hair. It neither looked damp nor felt wet to the touch. You weren't in the fountain in the inner yard just now, were you? Yeah. Well, I thought I saw you, but I guess I might have been hallucinating because of stress. <laughs> Ayana considered us with confused eyes. Yeah. 
I explained the situation to Ayana. I have to reaffirm the facts myself. This place is weird. No. It's like he tried opening the infirmary's window. It wasn't locked, it only shook and wouldn't open. Okay, you can try knocking down the damn thing. Anyway, there seems to be another student besides us in the school. At least it didn't seem like I was hallucinating her. Yeah. A red-eyed girl with silver hair tied in twin tails? I wasn't just imagining her. Yeah, the one I saw in the inner yard yesterday. She disappeared somewhere again, though. I don't know where she is. Hmm, well, for sure, I'd like to figure out what the hell's going on. I could see the anxiety on Ayana's face. And who could blame her? Anyone would get scared of a situation like this. I had myself momentarily forgotten my uneasiness due to the insanity of the past few events, but I was just as shaken as the others. Why would that be cool? Do you want to die? Those two seem to be taking this in stride, at least. I thought Sumika said she didn't believe in the Seven Mysteries, though. And I wasn't sure if it would be that cool to wind up killing Hitsuki. <laughs> anyway, nothing will come of us doing it in here. So, I wonder. We still had no idea what kind of situation we were in. It still wasn't clear how Ayana had disappeared. She remembered nothing. One weird thing was happening after another. That's all we could tell. So for starters... <laughs> what? Good idea, let's do that. Yeah? She was indeed in the same situation as us. She said to herself she had no idea what was going on. I guess it was the best for all of us to assemble first and then start thinking about the nature of whatever we were caught up in. Not to mention, the girl seemed like she knew something, you know. Yeah, let's find her. Yeah, we should look for that girl we met at the entrance, though. I wonder how we should go about this. I thought it was reasonable for the kind of emergency we were in. Mama, Ayana chan was in pain that day, right? Sugi seemed to take my side, at least. I was pretty out of it back then. So, I was pretty out of it back then. So, I was pretty out of it back then. So, I was pretty out of it back then. How are we going to call her? We don't even know her name. So, I was pretty out of it what if she just ignores us? Then we'd be looking for her anyway. Let's give up on the broadcast. If someone really locked us inside, it's probably better to avoid doing anything that put us in the spotlight. If it's impossible to leave the school, then she should be somewhere around anyway. Can you walk, Ayana? Ayana slowly climbed out of the bed and started looking from the first floor. We all left the infirmary together. Are we going to find her, I wonder? Hmm. Well, we're just going to have to find out the next episode as we hunt for the silver-haired girl. Have a good day.